Hello, this is Old Man Pool. Welcome back for match three. I think we have a keepable hand here. We can cycle away our floodwaters, which seems to be the fate of that card. Um, but we have a couple lands. Um, have three drop, four drop, five drop. Yeah, seems pretty reasonable. Let's go ahead and keep. My opponent's also playing first, so there's a good good chance we just draw a couple of lands here. Are perfectly fine. Nice. Um, I think we do still cycle floodwaters. We definitely want to hit our land drops. Ooh, another big ramp deck. It's been the deck of the day. <laughs> I'm desperately looking for lands, but he found it, so not all bad. All right, let's drop our Spearmaster. And start cracking. Definitely do want to find another land here. Um, okay, Kudu seems fine. Nice. Um, I think we just swing and exert. It's fine. My opponent can then crack back, but I think we're okay trading life here when we've got this many flyers in hand. I think it was a special kind of taunting, losing to the Sandworm Convergence deck last match, when we could have taken it ourselves. But... That's alright. I'll just take it, that's fine. Okay, a bunch of small stuff. Well, I'm gonna swing in with the Even Initiate here, and then we got Shimmer Scale Drake come down and blocks everything these got pretty effectively he swings in um, it's a reasonable chance that he has synchronized strike or um, what's the remove weakness something like that yep, shed weakness that's right because it's a snake oh man another glyph keeper that's all I see these days okay you now we'll swing with our two birds Gotta get through it at some point. Uh, we can also swing the exert with the Sphere Master, which I think is correct. He'll kill any two of my opponent's cards. Just jumping. Alright. I guess that's reasonable. Uh, we'll play a Sphere Master of our own and a Top Drop Skirmisher. Or I guess. Not of our own, our second one, or for the second time. So Glyphkeeper, again, is very good, but at least against our deck it only is kind of a two-for-one. Um, still very, very powerful, not to be looked down on for sure. Uh, yep, I will trade. Okay. Another Vitalist. And a Defiant Great Maw, okay. Just gonna make the kudu really, really small. Fair enough. Um, what do we like here? Maybe playing the trial of knowledge. We don't have great attacks anymore. Um, Fear Master does not fare well against the the giant hippo. Yeah, let's play a trial. I think. I don't know if we really need the seeker here. I think playing that in an attempt to get trial down later is not that exciting. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to land. I'm gonna play Cartouche and get in. Yeah, I think we just pitch the Seeker here. Okay, and then my opponent's dead next turn. Almost certainly. Um, well, I guess he can bring back the, the Keeper, can't he? Well, I'm assuming he has a land. I 
Angler Drake. Okay, eh, that's pretty good against us. This next turn, I think we probably play... Now, if we hit a land, then we play the Shimmer Scale Drake and Compulsory Rest on the Drake. In for a little bit. Okay, so we didn't hit a land. Um, we could play the rest anyway. Um, and get in... Oh, he's at three. I was thinking he was at four for some reason. Yeah, we just go for the kill, obviously. I don't even know what I was thinking. And he can't sacrifice or anything, so that should be game. Alright. Managed to pick up the first match there. Um, another blue-green deck. Glyph Keeper, Angler Drake. Okay. He did have some reasonable stuff on the ground. Um, Ancient Crab might end up being okay. Maybe as a choice against the Spear Masters. If he gets off to a, a fast start, um, Spear Masters obviously look a lot worse than they did that game. See anything that really hurt Rebuke? I guess if you bounce something that puts minus one, minus one counters, maybe that's pretty good. Don't really need the wrappings, I don't think. Don't want more hieroglyphics. That seems bad. Seeker seemed pretty bad there. Um, didn't look like it blocked a ton real effectively. I think the card is one of our less good ones in general. Okay, let's do something like that. Alright. My opponent had a full three minutes sideboarding, so... It's interesting, I'm not sure really what that means. Um, I think this hand is keepable. We've got Fanbearer into Spearmaster. Maybe we'll cycle away the Lake Lane, but I think it's powerful enough we can hold on to it with four lands in our hand. So we need to find another action. Um, so let's go ahead and keep. Fanbearers for days. Fanbearer beatdown. Oh, that's true! This is the first time I've ever had two Fanbearers in my deck that I didn't go 3 0. True tragedy. All because I didn't play around Sandworm conversions. Sandworm's too strong. Oh, that is it's a sad day indeed. Sad day indeed. Yeah, that's fine. We'll take two. No follow-up. It's good for us. And we're actually almost all the way to casting our Master. I'm not actually going to attack in with Fanbearer here. Um, Pouncing Cheetah seems like something my opponent might have. And I don't really want to risk it for a couple points of damage. Oh, nope. Yeah, I'll go for it then. And this is a reason why you do cycle at the end of the turn instead of randomly. Could have saved my opponent two points of damage there. Ooh, Crocodile the Crossing. Okay. Pretty good beats. Again for six. I'll take it. Okay, I would like to find some. Eh, that's close. So I'm just gonna attack with the Spearmaster and then use Double Fan Bear and fan furiously at my opponent next turn. I actually maybe should have considered exerting there, although probably safe to swing exert again next turn. Um, just because I want to get the Supply Caravan for sure. Weaver, okay. Um, so we could just do Cartouche. I think I like playing the Supply Caravan though. Um, it's a little bit more mana efficient. I guess if we play the Cartouche of Knowledge we still get in for four. Although Supply Caravan just blocks so very well against his board. Yeah. So we'll swing and exert. Yeah, we want to get the supply care about. And if he's ramping up to like another Greer Sandworm, we can just take it with Lake Lame. So. Or tap it down forever with Fanbearers. That's why I think this our deck is actually pretty good.
uh, pretty good against ramping strategies just because we have a lot of things that take care of individual threats. We're less good if, against my opponent going wide. Is he considering bouncing it here? It's the only thing I can think of. Oh. Haha, uh -huh. sorry, I said BRB, sorry, bathroom. I was thinking that meant that's why it took so long sideboarding, but. Alright, opponent's back here. Let's see. What were we doing? Oh, that's right, supply caravan. Pretty reasonable. Yes. And like I said, supply caravan blocks quite well. Um, he swings with the crocodile here. We have every reason to fear a trick. Um, we're quite close to being able to utilize the lay claim. We have Cartouche of Knowledge, which is good on the Spear, the spear Master, um, because it's such a, a terrible blocker. Um, this, this card definitely wants to be attacking. Yeah, this, this entire draft has been pretty much build your own. 4-2 flyer. Five spear masters. We've drawn cartouches an awful lot too, considering... I mean, we have two in the deck, but still, I'm not sure there's been a match that we haven't seen them. There may not have even been a game. One place angler drink. Okay. Again, definitely a powerful effect. Gonna bounce back to supply caravan. Alright. And get in for damage, I guess. Alright. That is definitely an aggressive play. Um, so you just play Supply Caravan and take four again, probably next turn. I guess we could Illumination first. Just nothing. Just supply card and pass. And I guess hope he doesn't have another Angler Drake. Angler Drake. But even then, we have Trump blocks for a little while. Seven. Peter Sandworm? Lay claim. Alright. Hmm. How do we win this game? Why about keeping fan bearers alive? I guess we just chump with the warrior and don't offer to trade both fan bearers for it. So next turn we can play like a cartouche of knowledge and a skirmisher. Put the cartouche on the crop captain and keep up two fan bearers, something like that. Yeah, let's just chump here. I think Trial of Knowledge is pretty good, although I don't know if we can afford to cast that because we want to be able to block my opponent's Angler Drake. Well, trade, tap down, take three. Hmm. No, we want to kill off the Angler Drake, I think. Lay Claim will still be good later. Okay, we can shepherd. So currently blocks block, or tap tap. Or we can play the skirmisher and jump. That seems worse. Alright. Yeah. Maybe we should have tapped down, traded, played that for two. Yeah, that might have been a better play, actually. We just want to trade. I guess we just want to trade. Yeah, it's fine. Block. That two. See what my opponent's got for me. Okay. Mm, a bunch of lethal threats. That's what he's got. 
Okay, so we have seven av available. He's got five threats, two fan bearers. You know, we can lay claim like the initiate's companion. Trade. Jump, jump, we're dead. I don't think there's anything that get us, gets us out of this, unfortunately. We get th four blockers at best. I don't know if we can find here either, but I guess we should try it. Uh, compulsory rest, land. We already played land this turn, right? Yeah. Alright. GG. Yeah, my opponent's light claim was pretty good there. Alright, we, we probably could have played that game a little bit better. There are a couple of choices in the middle there that, yeah, if we'd just been a little bit more proactive, may have been pretty good. Ancient Crab still seems fine. Uh, let's pass back. Could have, well, hmm. I think that the turn we played the cartouche on the Red Crop Sphere Master was a mistake. Like the first. Eh, this hand is sketchy. But we're going to keep it. We do have a Watchers, we have a Lay Claim we can cycle. But yeah, I think we should have actually played maybe like the, the Skirmisher and tapped a couple of times. Might have been better. On, on, in the tank, he wants to mulligan, but decides against it. Nice. That's a good draw. Would love to hit white here, but... Ooh. Alright. That was pretty rough for my opponent. I had to find a land, then he was like, well, I can start cycling. Yeah, I mean, maybe if, if his hand's quite good, that can be an okay play. That is. I mean, we definitely kept one landers with two cyclers before and just started praying. But, yeah, I think it's going to be a quick defeat, unfortunately. And we have drawn basically perfectly. a game here. A little bit rough for my opponent. We had two pretty competitive games, but he is in a rough spot now. Player trial. This card island probably. And then start hitting for more. We attack an exert there. No we didn't. Uh, I can exert. There we go. And start using compulsory rests. Yeah, rough spot to be in. Okay, he did find his other color. And I mean, we did exert with the Spearmaster, so I mean, we're maybe a little bit slower now. But if he taps the Vitalist for any one blocker, we can get rid of it with compulsory rest. He's got to keep them both. That might be what, what he's debating right now. Yeah, okay. He has to find a way to deal with the initiate pretty quick. Okay, that counts. Um, we're gonna get to just compulsory arrest it though. Yeah, rough draw for my opponent. All right. All right, well, we managed to go 2-1. Um, my opponent's deck looked pretty good. Angler Drake I'm still always very impressed with. But we got there. It was a little bit of an interesting deck. Like I said, I think it was build your own 4-2s with the um, Cartouche of Knowledge and Red Crop Spearmaster a lot of the time. But it actually had a reasonable beatdown curve. Uh, I think we hit two drops more often than the deck probably should have, considering how few we had. But worked out. We also didn't play against like a super super aggressive deck yeah there we go thanks for watching everybody uh, if you like the content be sure to like and subscribe you can see more videos when they come out um yeah watch it